Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel of Think, Build, Test. Today, we're gonna start version two of our trailer build. But with me this time, I have my nephew, Lance. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> He's a YouTube newbie, even newer than us. So, let's cut him some slack, maybe. So on this episode, we're gonna be starting to cut up the frame and get our measurements right so that we'll be ready to start piecing things together. So anyway, let's go get some metal. <laughs> this time we decided to go with the three inch C channel and we're using the heavy C channel, the 4.1 pounds per foot uh, is kind of how they measure this out. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our lengthwise sections. So we're going to start off with a 74 inch axle dimension where you'd measure from the center to the center of the spring joists and we're going to have to accommodate for the center of the width of this which is an inch and three eighths. And since we have two on each side, an inch and three eighths is what we're gonna take off of this beam, which is gonna leave us at 72 inches and five eighths. All right, so we're gonna be starting to make our cuts. We're just gonna use a four and a half inch grinder to make our cuts. It's just nice and versatile. And once you know how to use it, it makes things pretty quick. Uh, but we're not gonna bore you any further. We're gonna switch to the time lapse and uh, we'll see you on the other side of these cuts. So there we have our six main rafters. That's what you call a rafter. Yeah. Supports, cross members. Anyway, so we got our four for the back part of the trailer and our two for our trolley. So you might have noticed in the time lapse there was a little more cutting than just these six pieces. Well, Lance, one of the reasons why he's here today. It's because we're building two trailer. He's got one on the order. That's right. So Lance, why don't you just take a moment to just say what you like about the trailer and why you were sold on this idea. Uh, so far, just the, <clears throat> how small the trailer is, how well it pulls behind the trucks. It's easy to load the razors up onto. And the best part of it, you can break it down. That's the best part of the whole trailer. Whether you got a bigger people, everyone can have one. you got easy store, not a whole lot of space taken up. Yeah, it's, it's not only great for the house, but it's great for more at camp. And we're gonna have three of these trailers going with us to Utah this spring. And we got one driveway to park all of our stuff in. So we're gonna be able to break all three of those trailers down when we're not using it, park the razors in the garage, and we won't be fighting for trailer space. So 
So we just got through cutting our cross members. And now we're gonna move into measuring up our trailer so that we can get our distances right on our runners. The runners, the length runners. So one length I like to keep constant is I like to have a 14 inch gap where the tires are gonna rest. So just like in the last one, the rear tires are gonna rest here and we're gonna keep a gap between those two cross members. So we're gonna keep that same 14 inch measurement between our cross members going across for where the tires are gonna sit. And that's kind of a, if you had a flat tire, then it's not enough for your tire to sink between the two. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. This is where our trolley is gonna be. We're gonna go ahead and make these cuts at the same time. Uh, so we're gonna keep 14 inches here because this is where our front tires are gonna nest in there. Uh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go back and watch the first two videos and you'll kind of see how this trailer looks. Another thing we were looking at is we have a uh, eight foot long expanded metal sheet and we wanna be able to get the most out of it we can. So we're looking to try and keep a 48 inch length here because this time we're gonna put an expanded metal floor deck in here. So we wanna be able to use as much of that sheet as we can. So what we ended up with is we measured out 48 from the end to the end and then we kept our 14 inches here, kept our 14 inches here and then we ended up with a 14 and a half inch here. Now the measurement that's going to be on this bar right here with the 14 inches is going to be 16 and a half. You could go to 17 if you felt like leaving a little more over. We might do that so we have a little more welding surface. Another length that we're looking at here is our fenders. We went ahead and got full length fenders this time so we wouldn't have that wind catching on the front edge and it'd make our manufacturing time a little bit quicker. Uh, but the way this trailer is going to work is it'll still flip up like the other one, but in this version, we're going to let it bump up here on this stop. So we ended up with our 48 inches and keeping our center where we're going to have our axle underneath this runner ended up being just right where we have about an inch in front of this fender. Now this fender was 32 inches front to back. So we had a 16 inch center. So we started back today and we squared up our main frame and we just took a lot of time working on each corner, making sure before we fully welded that uh, everything was gonna have squareness. And we also were checking our uh, concrete floor here to make sure that any imperfections in it weren't gonna come out in the metal. So we made sure everything was square with our floor we checked our pitches, our yaws, and so we set our first beads on the insides, and we've been adjusting our welder. Uh, ended up uh, with a power setting 70 and about 40 on the wire speed uh, on this Hobart 230. Um, and I think we're about ready to start knocking stuff out. So we started on the ends, and then We'll set our two middle pieces in after we've got the ends uh, secured up. So we'll go ahead and flash to the time lapse and you'll see how this goes down.
<laughs> even cheaper. That kind of like Sid. Slipknot. So get the round. Looks like uh, Gadget from the Rescue Rangers.
So this concludes our trailer frame build. I hope you're enjoying the content so far. I'll tell you what, I've been going back and watching the videos we've been making and this trailer is turning out, it's like the Cadillac of teardown trailers compared to the old one. It's turning out great. We've had several wins, a couple of little bumps that we've had to correct. So you'll want to watch the whole series to be able to see what we had to change at the end. So hold on tight, hit like, subscribe, share with your friends, because we're not going anywhere. We'll see you on the next build. Hey, always. <laughs>